Hello everyone, welcome to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be presenting you a static cardiology rhythm and scenario, and on the bottom of the screen you'll see a 1 minute and 30 second timer. This timer is here because it closely mimics the actual average time you should be spending on each card during a national registry scenario. At the end of the card, I'll give you an explanation and a treatment for the rhythm that you saw. Good luck. Three, two, one. So this card's a 55 year old male, kind of a funky looking rhythm up there. Did you get it right? Let's take a look. Let's, uh, let's examine this a little closer. So right out the gate, if you're seeing a drop in a QRS complex and a P wave that stays behind, you should be immediately suspicious that this is some kind of heart block, specifically a type of second degree heart block. Let's go ahead and count out our QRS complexes here first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's not bradycardic, it's a heart rate of 70. But let's go ahead and examine a couple of things here. There's some areas where there are P waves and no QRS complexes. Well, specifically, there's one area. And that's what makes this card a little bit more challenging. So right here, there's a P wave and there's no corresponding QRS complex with it, which makes it one of the second degree blocks. However, the difference here between second degree type two and second degree type one is the PR interval and whether or not it's consistent. So let's go ahead and measure our PR interval. We notice here that the PR interval is actually becoming longer before there's a drop off in QRS complex. There's only one type of heart rhythm that does this. So I would diagnose this as a second degree type one or a Mobitz one or a Wankybach. It has three different names for it. Any one of those names is considered acceptable. So let's go ahead and take a look at the scenario and determine whether or not it is stable or unstable. Now remember, at the end of the day, because your patient's condition does not change, static cardiology is about picking one side of the ACLS algorithm or the other and following through with it until you're completely finished. When I'm determining whether a patient is stable or unstable, I use the criteria CHAD. And CHAD stands for Cardiac Insufficiency, Hypotension, Altered Mental Status, and Dyspnea. Right out the gate, the first piece of highlighted text here it says the patient is alert and oriented, so they are not altered in any way. The vital signs are presented here next. Blood pressure is 136 over 74, pulse of 74, respiration 16, oxygen saturation is 97% on room air. So based on CHAD criteria, there's no sign of end organ failure, there's no sign of hypotension, the patient is not altered, and the patient does not appear to be dyspneic. So I would diagnose this as a stable second degree type one heart block or a stable Mobitz one heart block, or a stable Wankybach rhythm. Either one of those would be considered acceptable here. So how do you treat this? Well, let's find out. Now, as an instructor, I actually get a lot of joy out of uh, watching students try to take care of things like this because it's not a normal rhythm, but it's also not unstable. Your patient's heart rate is 70 and they're not hypotensive, so that's an adequate heart rate to perfuse this person to get a great blood pressure. So really, less is more here. For this patient, because they're stable, it involves, of course, the mantra, 
scene safe BSI IV02 monitor. From there, we'll do, get a 12 lead, lead ECG, and just for grins and giggles, we'll give aspirin 324, because generally speaking, this patient is going to get that at some point in the very near future if they're going to the hospital. And then because this rhythm is perfusing, it's not bradycardic, we don't need to touch them with electricity. So all we need to do at this point is rapid transport. Don't reinvent the wheel on these cards, say this very simple treatment and move on. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please make your own playlists with other static cardiology videos that I've made for you here. You can shuffle them up and create little decks of your own. Till I see you next, have a good rest of your night.